Hello guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ping Ping and I make Philippine travel updates and latest quantum protocols and US visa related information. Oh, naka blush on oh, tita niyo. Okay. Anyway, guys, for this video, I will discuss to you the requirements and quarantine protocols of all international travelers traveling to the Philippines holding the 9A visa and other foreign nationals with other types of visa. So, Please stay tuned and I will share my screen to you guys in order for you to see it and I will discuss it to you one by one. By the way, if you are new on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of my next uploads. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Alright, so let's go. New entry and testing quarantine protocols for foreign nationals arriving from abroad effective February 10, 1 a.m. So this is for um, not foreign nationals with 9A visa. Guys, I have a vlog for 9A visa, how to apply for 9A visa. I will put the links on the description box below if you want to know how to apply for 9A visa. So requirements to enter the Philippines if you are a 9A visa holder. For only, you need to be fully vaccinated except for children below 12 years old traveling with their fully vaccinated parents with acceptable proof of vaccination. Passport valid for six, for at least 6 months upon arrival and of course with negative RT-PCR test result 48 hours before departure from country of origin. Alright, so that's it. Now, what is your arrival? Arrival <clears throat> protocols, guys. If you are holding a 9A visa, okay, you need to be fully vaccinated and facility-based quarantine. Ah, uh -huh, no, no facility, no facility-based quarantine, guys. Home quarantine, yes, and that's only for seven days. And if you manifest any symptoms of COVID-19, inform the LGU or local government unit. Guys, now let's discuss the resolution number 160-B of the IATF, foreign nationals with other types of visas. What are the requirements for you guys? You need to be fully vaccinated. You have to show negative RT-PCR test for eight hours before departure from country of origin. Of course, you need to have an insurance worth 30,000 US dollar for COVID and around trip ticket because you're foreign nationals and a valid passport. Okay, next, we have the protocols for foreign nationals with other types of visas. You need to do self-monitor for seven days, but you don't have to do a facility quarantine. That's all. Very easy. And next, reminders, guys, for 9A visa holder and other types of visas for foreign nationals. If the person in the airport is not satisfied with the vaccination certificate that you provided, you will undergo facility quarantine. You will have RT-PCR RT test on the fifth day once negative. You will continue your home quarantine for 14 days. The day one is the day of arrival. Next, remind, remember as well, this is a reminder again, all inbound travelers must register with this website, onehealthpass.com, prior to arrival in the Philippines. So guys, always remember that this is the legit website, www.onehealthpass.com.ph. Do not register in other website, okay? Next is proof of vaccination that you can use. So the vaccination requirements that you can bring are, of course, World Health Organization International Certificate of Vaccination and Prophylaxis. If you have a Vaxert PH, you can also do that. Or National State Digital Certificate of Foreign Government, which has accepted Vaxert PH under a reciprocal arrangement agreement unless otherwise permitted by IATF. Or, please take note of this, other proofs of vaccination permitted by IATF. Guys, the IATF did not give any description or meaning for this one. Other proofs of vaccination. So you can just bring your digital vaccination certificate or vaccination certificate, the hard copy one, if you are fully vaccinated. Okay, Because it will fall to other proofs of vaccination permitted by IATF. Now, here is another reminder. 
other proofs of vaccination permitted by IATFR, digital cert or cert certificate from country like EU or European Union. If you are from countries that is not under the reciprocal arrangements, then just bring a certification that you are fully vaccinated because that will fall under the other proofs of vaccination permitted by IATF. Or you can get the WHO certificate or of vaccination. Okay. Next one. These are the countries now that the Philippines accepted the vaccine certificate under the reciprocal ar arrangement. So we have 30 countries plus another five countries that uh, was included. These are the new countries, guys. Slovenia, Bahrain, Qatar, Switzerland, Hong Kong, SAR. So if you are from these 35 countries, you can just bring a vaccine certificate and the uh, Philippines accept this certificates from these countries okay armenia australia austria belgium canada colombia czech republic france georgia germany india iraq italy japan kazakhstan kuwait monaco new zealand oman samal singapore sri lanka thailand the netherlands the Ninja, turkey united arab emirates united kingdom usa and vietnam Plus the new country, Slovenia, Bahrain, Qatar, Switzerland, Hong Kong, SAR. The Philippines honor their certification under the reciprocal agreement. Okay, next we have a question from Xtai de los Santos. So guys, this is the question. Those fully vaccinated foreign non-visa tourists bought vaccine certificate is not accepted due to reciprocal agreement. Do you know if they can enter? Question number one, yes, they can enter because they're from non-visa countries and they're allowed to enter for 30 days. The ICVP by WHO or the yellow card is hard to get. Would they still be allowed to enter? Yes, because guys, the IATF said that they accept, they accept other proof of certification. So answer, yes, they can enter. If they can get WHO cert, then just get a digit if they cannot get who certificate then just get a digital certificate or a legit certificate from the country where they got their vaccine like if you're from european union countries like finland the philippines accept digital vaccination certificate even finland is not under the reciprocal agreement so guys it will fall to other proofs of vaccination permitted by iatf all right, so that's it. That's the requirements for 9A visa holders and other foreign nationals with other types of visa. Okay, right, guys, so that's the quarantine protocols, arrival protocols and requirements for all the foreign nationals who holds 9A visa and other types of visas. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And thank you so much for watching and have a good one. Bye. I really like the blush on, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Have a safe travels. Bye.